Hendo, congratulations, a 24-10 win today at London Broncos. How are you feeling? And uh, yeah, just give us your immediate thoughts on that one. I'm delighted. I'm really, really pleased. Pleased for the playing group to respond in the, in the manner that they did. You know, I thought we played smarter this week in the, in the conditions that were, that were out there. And we played tough. You know, and uh, yeah, it wasn't an easy fixture today. You know, we're coming up against a side in London who, you know, have got a lot of quality players. They're a quality side, and you know, we're just in touch and distance of the six, and have got aspirations to push into those playoffs. And, uh, and this was always going to be a, a, a tough game. And uh, but I'm just really pleased for our, for our playing group because I just thought they responded in the right manner. Um, you know, we got here, we ended up arriving late, you know, with the, with the traffic, it was almost a six hour journey to get here. Um, but that's a credit to the players, they didn't allow that to affect them, um, didn't use it as an excuse. And, you know, we got out there and got the job done, um, considering we lost Chris Clarkson early in the first half, put us under a bit of pressure, we had to sort of reshuffle things a little bit, and, and then we lose James Cunningham early at the start of the second half, so effectively playing with 15 men for the, for the for large parts of that second half. So, you know, that's a credit to the players for those guys that had to sort of be moved out of position and adapt and overcome, And but I just was more pleased with the way we played those conditions. I just felt that, you know, we addressed some things on Tuesday after the loss last week, um, and I just felt the, the players... You know, uh, handled that a lot better, those conditions. And I've got to give a lot of credit to our halfbacks, Liam Harris and Adi Hingano and, and, and Kano and Jubby at nine as well for controlling those proceedings. I, I thought they kicked at the right times and, and, and were smart with their kicking game. Um, I thought they didn't overplay their hand. You know, we played a little bit of rugby at times, which was nice, and we, we caused them some problems. But I think we showed that, that patience today and that discipline um, and just were prepared to just sort of roll up the sleeves, carry hard and tough and, and just finish in the right areas and then really, really front load and back our defence. And, and, and I thought defensively um, we were really, really strong, especially second half to, you know, to, to basically keep them to zero in the second half. Um, but even the first half, you know, they scored after the first couple of minutes because we knocked on the kickoff, um, and then they scored literally in the last minute of the half, bit of a breakaway uh, sort of play. So, you know, overall, very, very pleased with with the performance. Still, some lessons to be learned from it, of course, but just a great response from our playing playing group. Yeah, you touched on the defence there. There was plenty of sets on, on the goal yeah, line in, in that second half. So was. It was a fantastic defensive effort, second half, as you mentioned. Yeah, absolutely. We went through a period there where I just feel like we just couldn't get out of our, our own 20 metre zone. We'd sort of, you know, we'd defend a set and then we'd always have to start the set 10 metres off our line. And, and because, like you said, the conditions are, are wet and greasy, that means that the passing's a bit slower. It's harder to sort of get in between bodies. They can tighten up their D line and, and really get into you. And um, we found it pretty hard to make some headway really and then we'd maybe come up with an error because they, they were forced and you know it was the same for both teams and and uh you know and we did yeah, there was a period in that second half I feel I think we had to defend about four back-to-back sets on our goal line and we just kept I just thought we just kept moving our feet we kept turning up for each other we showed some real intent and and just yeah we just wanted to to win the game and I just felt that from the start right through to the finish. Mm. Uh, that, that shows plenty of character about this team as well. Obviously, yeah. as you mentioned, Absolutely. plenty of adversity today. Obviously, with you know losing two players with injury. Obviously, the, yep. the travel and you know the conditions as well. So yeah, plenty of character shown all round, I guess. Yeah, absolutely, and, that, and that's that's the great thing about this this group of players. You know, they're, they're not a team that look for excuses. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, we had a few things, yeah, not go away game to game, but that happens. You have a few things not go your way in games at times. You've got to deal with it, what's next, and it's all about your actions. And that was something that the playing group spoke about. You know, we, we need less talk, more actions. And, um, and I thought, yeah, they actioned, they showed that commitment to one another and they actioned what they, what they said they were going to do, which I'm really, really pleased about. Uh, just a word on Will Chubb, the, obviously the fantastic try at the end yeah. on his uh, 150th career appearance. Yeah, no, great for Will, you know, um, like you said, he'd done a, a solid job for us, you know, he had to sort of bide his time a little bit on the bench today, but um, when he came on, he, he, he did his job solidly, as he does, we know that with, with Will, he's Mr Reliable and, you know, made his tackles and gave good service and I'm just really pleased that he was able to use a little trademark sort of ruck play near the line and the old show and go and, and duck under and score, mate, so no, pleased for him and uh, I know he was singing that team song at the end, loud and proud in the change rooms with the boys uh, just last one obviously this is four league wins in a yeah. row um, obviously all building towards you know a really strong finish to the end of the season hoping to continue this momentum now yeah absolutely Jacob and that's something we spoke about as a group you know a number of weeks ago leading into that Halifax game you know we, we addressed a few things there that we needed to focus on and I thought we delivered that well and and um the talk then from there on in was each week we're just going to look to make those small improvements to our performance and and if we keep doing that we'll, we'll be able to get you know a performance that hopefully will earn as results and and we've done that it's just a shame we weren't able to, to replicate that last week in, in in the other competition but 
we've managed to get back on the horse today and respond in the right manner. And, and as I've said, I think the players understand now the process that we need to deliver. Um, if we deliver that, we'll then give our opportunities to, to execute our game plan. We then can deliver that. We'll then be able to defend well and, and we'll give our, ourselves opportunities to win games. And I'm just pleased that we're there, four, four wins on the bounce, which is as great, but we're not going to get carried away and look too far ahead. We just focus now on, you know, enjoy tonight, enjoy the trip back, and then we'll, we'll prepare, refocus, regroup, prepare, and uh, get ready to go for Toulouse and, and try again to make an improved performance on today. And hopefully we deliver that. We'll earn a result then.